It's a big day for our little family, Emma. Today I get to marry your mother. Ooh, who's that? Hey. What are you doing here? <laughs> I live here. Uh, not today, you don't. Your suit is pressed and waiting for you at your apartment. I have plenty of time. Uh, and don't try to go to the hospital because the staff has orders to turn you away at the door. Okay, relax, Maxie. Okay? You relax. This time around, try being at the church on time. Get out of here. Okay. Bye, Emma. Peace. Emma. Hi. Go. Well, I sent him away. He's not supposed to see you today. And after what happened last time, we're not taking any chances. Are we, Emma? No, we're not. Oh. Stone Cold? You okay? Yeah, I was just... I was in the throes of a most unsettling dream about your nocturnal mission. The difficulty of which is written on your face. It's, uh, it's over. The evil doors have been dispatched. The They're... Russians are pulling out of town. <gasps> so the, the threat has been removed, order has been restored, and, and now you can reconcile with Mr. Sir. Belgian waffles? Nuts. Uh, on top of the waffles, aren't you allergic? I remember the Halloween parade in the fourth grade. It was like a real, like, horror movie. I think that was, um, Carolyn Ramsey. Oh, I just don't want your face to swell while you're walking down the aisle. I do not have allergies, and besides, everything's gonna be just fine. That's what we said last time, and then the groom went AWOL, and my little cousin Emma decided to turn it into her own show. People think I'm selfish. Well, don't worry. The baby nurse will be here to watch Emma during the ceremony. Baby nurse, Judy Chen from GH. I spoke with her this morning. She should be on her way. Oh, see, somebody's on time. Hello. Hi. Uncle Matt, we're running a very tight schedule so you can give her all the fatherly advice she needs on the way to the church. And that's why I'm here. Since Robert's giving you away, I'm going to be your personal chauffeur. Oh, perfect. We can put the light on top of the car and run the siren. That's for emergencies? This is an emergency. The way weddings have been going in this town, we're not taking any chances. Okay. Your dress and your shoes are waiting for you at the church. There's a light blue bag for you to put your clothes in after you change. Hey, cross down traffic's really bad, so stay away from Ralton Square and leave as soon as the baby nurse gets here. Scout's honor. This is gonna be the happiest day of your life if it kills me. <laughs> While monitoring police reports last night, I couldn't help but notice reports of multiple explosions at syndicate-controlled warehouses, carefully placed charges that touched not a blade of neighboring grass, but caused utter destruction. Stone Cold descended under the cloak of darkness like the goth god of Zoon on the evil tour. The Russians lost the only local players they had who knew the territory, so the smart business move for them is to get the hell out of town. So the laws of economics would dictate. You know, it is fitting that the master rid the town of such a scourge, and as this new day is dawning with the hour of the long overdue Scorpio Drake wedding approaching. Yeah, and I'm not going to be going this time. Well, I, I will convey your best wishes and do my best to be a worthy emissary. Thank you. Should you be getting ready? Yeah, uh, Maximista fast approaches. I should go don my dapper attire. <laughs> um. I couldn't help but notice Stone Cold avoided the question I posed earlier about a reconciliation with Mr. Sir. Well, uh, you know, I, I want peace with Sonny Spinelli. But he may be in too deep with his cars, so I don't even know if that's possible anymore. Jason is full. I'm only here to get Spinelli for the wedding. He'll be right down. Is everything uh, going okay? So far, so good. I don't know why I bother. I could knock until I have splinters, but the mob population in this town is like a huge axe hanging over the altar. The odds are already stacked against Patrick and Robin. <sighs> what would prompt Maximista to make such a dire prediction? If I've learned anything from history, it's that huge weddings in this town always end in disaster. Well, rest assured, the potential for violence has been greatly reduced. Then it'll be something else. A power outage? Well, I, 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 I will personally monitor the grid. 
a natural disaster. The National Weather Service has predicted clear skies. Uh, I feel it in my bones, Spinelli. Something terrible is going to happen to Patrick and Robin before they get married. What's happened? Well, nothing yet, but it will. And we have to stop it before it does happen. Well? I've been monitoring the National Weather Service. There's no change. There's no chance of a storm. And Carly? I hacked into the Valkyrie's private communications. She'll be in meetings related to hotel business all day long. Okay. With everything that's gone on in this church, you'd think they would have sprung for a metal detector. You should pat everyone down. What? Subtly. Perhaps Max Misa should allow for the possibility that her instincts are wrong, that indeed no tragedy shall befall the happy nuptials. No way, Spinelli. Until the I do's are said and the rings are on Patrick and Robin's fingers, we're not letting our guards down. Patrick, hey, welcome back. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you.